Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Do The Work. Here we're asked that three students each shade a different part of a 10x10 10 10 grid. Their shades, uh, shaded parts do not overlap. Corey shades 0.71 of the grid, Nabil shades 19% of the grid, Sydney shades 2 over 25 of the grid. Which of the following represents the unshaded part of the grid? So here each person shades a part and we're asked what proportion of the grid is left unshaded. So if we just try to build some intuition here, uh, let's say that this part is 71, then uh, 71, that's about three quarters, or maybe I'll do it horizontally. So three quarters would be this part-ish. And then that's seven full rows of 10, right? And then 19%, that's almost two full rows. So we're almost full here. And then 2 over 25, that would be about uh, 2 over 25. You can put it over 100, but 1 over 25 is uh, 4%. So it would be less than 10%. It would be something like this. So you know that it can't be 98% of the grid because it's almost full. You know that it can't be half because it's almost full. Uh, point two, it's still one fifth, so it's it's not this one, and we know it's this one because it's almost almost full. So that's just intuitively. We don't need to do a lot of math here, but it's always good to do it formally. Before we solve this problem, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of the future videos, and it's the best way to support the channel. The first step to solving any math problem is to understand the theory and the problem. So here, the, the theory behind it is basically converting from percentages to decimals, decimals to fractions. These are just the same thing, but they're different forms of numbers. So let's convert them all to a fraction over a hundred. So so I'll say convert all to something over 100. So we have 0 0.71. That's 71 over 100 because it's like shifting the comma twice and it gives you that 0 0.71. That's 0 0.71, okay? And then the, the second one is 19%, 19% percent, 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 percent pour cent in French, that's 19 pour cent, so per 100, so I'll just write it, per cent, and cent means 100, so that's one way you can remember, so that's your number over 100. And again, if you converted uh, to the decimal, it would be 0 0.19, but we'll focus on the over 100. And then the third one is, I think, 2 over 25. 2 over 25 over 100. So that would be times 4 in the denominator and times, oops, times 4 in the numerator. We're allowed to do this because that's multiplied by one. And a times one is just a, anything times one is itself. So we're not changing it really. We have eight over a hundred and it turns out it's 8%. And if you want, that's zero or I'll change, I'll change to black color here. It's eight, oops. 8 over 100 or 0 0.08. Now, if we do step two, it would be to add all the fractions. And we have 71 over 100 plus 19 over 100 plus 8 over 100. 
And when 17, uh, 71 plus 19, then 9 makes 80, plus 10, that's 90, plus 8, that's 98 over 100. And it makes sense because it's almost 1. And then the last part is simply what percentage of the grid is left. Then we know it's, I'll write it in red, therefore 2% unshaded because that's, shaded part right so it's 1 minus 98 over 100 which is 2% unshaded so maybe let me write you let me write this it's 1 minus 98 over 100 is equal to 2 over 100 when you get your common denominator so we know it is 2% of the grid and we can also sim uh, do it intuitively. So 71, if we move to step three, 71 uh, of the grid, that's three full rows, right? So we have, let me just use the same colors as we did before. We, we had seven full rows, not three. Seven, se three, four, five, six, seven, and 71, so this one is full. And then we have 19%, so that's 19 of them. So that's the 9, and then that's the 10. And then this is 2 over 25, but we converted it to 100, and that is 8. So when we do this, we have 8, and this is our unshaded part. It's 2 squares out of 100 is equal to 2% unshaded. And that's it. I hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next video.